So I have um, segmented regions. Now I want to compute some properties of those regions. We're going to look at these properties, um, the area of the region, the centroid, and the bounding box, where the bounding box is simply the smallest rectangle containing the region. Um, we'll use this uh, function. We can always do this course ourselves, but we'll use the MATLAB function called region props, where we pass in a label image produced by BW Label and it returns an array of structures, each containing the properties for one region. So just a word about structures. A structure is an object with some fields. So um, if I apply region props to label image L and get blobs, uh, in this case blobs is an array of 17 structures and each element of that uh, each structure element has three fields, area, centroid, and bounding box. So we can access these fields um, by typing, well, blobs.1 would be to get the first blob, and then period area would be the uh, to access the individual elements. Um, centroid is uh, a two-element vector, x, y of the center, as shown here. And bounding box is the starting upper left corner and the width and height of the uh, of the blob. Um, so finally, we'll draw rectangle around. We can draw a rectangle around each blob using um, a rectangle call, where we pass in the starting uh, upper left corner and the width and height of the rectangle. And we can also draw uh, lines on the image uh, using the line function, which uh, we just provide the two endpoints of the line. So um, here's an example where I'll draw a bounding box around all the blobs and crosshairs on the centroids. So we'll read in the function, we'll read in the image, threshold it, do labeling, extract region properties using this region props. Then we'll loop through each blob, draw a rectangle around its bounding box. So I, pa I simply just pass in the bounding box here because that's exactly the format um, that this function rectangle wants. I'll then um, get the crosshair, uh, center the crosshair at the centroid, so I'll get the centroid C. And it's a two element vector. The first element is the X coordinate and the second element is the y-coordinate. So I'm going to draw a, a horizontal and vertical line here. So um, let me go ahead and copy this code. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so it ran the code. Uh, as you can see, it um, draws a red box or rectangle around each blob and draws a uh, green crosshair at the, at the centroid of the blobs, of the white blobs. Um, so here's a cool application of all of this. Um, and that is finding fiducial targets in images. So let's say I wanted to find this joint of this robot. Um, and I had the ability to mark it with uh, a little pattern that I create. So the pattern is just a uh, concentric circle like this. It's a black dot surrounded by a white region. So this is fairly easy to segment because you know the white is very much different from the black. So a threshold will easily separate those two. Then what we do is we um, we label those blobs and we find connect components and we compare each white region with each black region. So uh, white wherever a white centroid um, coincides with a black centroid, um, that's probably a target pattern like this because it's very unusual that that would happen by accident. Um, some other things you can do with 
um, with these uh, with this extraction algorithm. Uh, if, if if things do happen to show up by accident in the in the background, you can impose these constraints, such as looking at the relative areas of the two regions, or the fact that the white bounding box must enclose the black bounding box. Um, finally, we can look at local thresholding instead of global thresholding. So for simple black and white targets like this, um, an easy way to do local thresholding is to apply an averaging filter to the image, which creates an image of local means. Subtract that the, from the original image. And what should happen is that the white region is positive at this point, and the black region is negative. So uh, if we simply threshold that difference image at 0, that should segment the white blobs. 